Diabetes is the main cause of blindness among working age adults in this country. Yet 90% of these cases can be avoided with early detection and treatment. The problem is that half of patients with diabetes don't get the regular eye exams every year. This problem is worse in communities that are separated by cultural and social barriers, such as poorer communities or rural communities. We care for low-income, underserved, underinsured patients, and they don't have good insurance or payer sources for outside eye exams. So we would always refer them out, making them appointments, and then because of their transportation, language issues, and money issues, just wouldn't go. Yo no sabía que podía perder la vista hasta que fui con mi doctora y me hicieron un examen. Yo nunca me había hecho un examen antes y su asistente tomó fotos a mis ojos con una cámara especial y fue cuando me mostraron cómo podían quedar mis ojos y cómo estaban sangrando por dentro y todo eso. Our problem is, as a very busy urban public hospital diabetes clinic, everyone needs to be screened, but we have limited access to eye services, and we weren't able to differentiate people who really needed services soon versus people who could wait until an appointment could actually be scheduled for them. The waiting time for diabetic patients to get their eye exam by ophthalmologists using county system could take up to six months to a year. And recently I saw a newly diagnosed diabetic patient and we scheduled the ophthalmology exam. While the patient was waiting for the ophthalmology exam, the routine eye exam, I saw him six weeks after that first visit. By the time I saw him six weeks later, he had already gone blind. The man went blind within three months waiting for a routine eye exam. I couldn't take that anymore. And that is the reason I decided to institute diabetic retinopathy screening in THE clinic. So we can identify our patients that are at risk and prevent diabetic blindness. Why do patients lose sight from diabetes? Chronic uncontrolled blood sugar causes damage to small vessels in the eye leading to the death of nerves and receptors. Diabetic retinopathy screening can detect sight-threatening changes before it's too late. That's why researchers at UC Berkeley and UCSF have developed IPAX, a license-free, internet-based program that allows patients to be screened at the time of their primary care visit. It also allows primary care providers to communicate with eye care providers at UC Berkeley and also in their own community. As a retinal specialist, I have found retinal images very useful in detecting ocular complications and diabetic retinopathy screening using digital retinal photography does not take the place of an eye exam. However, it has been recognized by both uh, the American Diabetes Association as well as the American Academy of Ophthalmology as an effective way to identify patients with retinopathy who need referral for ophthalmic management as well as treatment. The ophthalmologists love the program because we're actually able to send them referrals that are very appropriate to the services that they offer. Patients like IPACs because the photos are used at the point of care to help educate them. Digital retinal photography has performed better than face-to-face -face eye exams for detecting diabetic retinal lesions. In fact, several landmark studies have validated retinal photography for the detection of diabetic retinopathy. Large-scale retinopathy screening systems have been reported to be used successfully at the Veterans Administration as well as Kaiser. First of all, it's very important to create a service that has a low cost to you. You follow the grid line? Look at the grid line. So we have utilized medical assistants who are you know, very eager to be trained to learn a new skill, and yet at the same time they are a lower cost to us. This camera is a regular camera 
and this is a special a special land it is very very easy to take a picture and it, for me now it's taking me about five minutes to take a picture there's not really a great additional cost incurred by the clinic for the patient that's good because especially for our sliding fee patients the eye exam is integrated into the office visit that they've already paid for so there's no additional cost to the patient and that's really increased compliance and their ability to get that exam. That office visit of course is reimbursable, the procedure is reimbursable. When any significant retinal disease is picked up through the IPAC system, we're able then to target those referrals as urgent referrals, give the patients an appointment, and we found that our compliance with eye exams went from around 25 percent up to the high 90s. We feel we have actually been able to prevent advanced eye disease, blindness, um, and uh, it's really been an enormous quality tool for our clinic. At least we can take our own retina scan and identify those high-risk patients for early intervention so we don't have any more of our patients go blind. If we can avoid one patient losing their sight by doing these exams on site, the program is a total success. For more information, please contact the IPAX program. Thank you. This program is supported by the California Healthcare Foundation.